and welcome to the EEPROM 9. Those of you who know your vintage computers will recognise this as an Acorn System 1. So why am I showing this? I'm building one. Someone was selling the PCBs on eBay. This has so far been built with everything I've got in stock, except for a few sockets that have actually bothered arriving. Uh, mostly just these sockets and an 8 pin one. But all the other components, capacitors, resistors, and that are all random in stock, pulled off of old random circuit boards. Always good to have a few random circuit boards with that kind of stuff on. And so I have actually powered this up. I'm at not doing the barrel jack mod, I'm doing USB because, well, it's a lot easier if you can hook it to a power bank now, isn't it? So shall we show you what it does when we hook it to a power bank? It doesn't do a lot, but then there's no ROM or RAM or anything hooked up. Uh, the clock does work, which we shall demonstrate with the right goal. This is why you want an oscilloscope next to your desk. So we grab the one of the USB cable. I went with this particular type. One, because I have a connector floating around, and two, this is the only decent USB socket in existence that isn't fragile at all. Fuck. Because most of them are so fragile they're next to useless. Ah, the fun of doing this crap one-handed. Meanwhile, the U power bank decides to slide along the desk without a care in the world, rather gaily. All right, then we need Pro, which if I hadn't put it away would make life easier. Oh, this video editing organisational skills and all that jazz, you know, I'm so good at it. why my channel totally kicked off and ended up with a bazillion subscribers. Now I'll just stab myself with the um, probe. Right, so now I'm going to put you on the uh, scope and you will see. That's the wrong pin, but you'll also see it's running at a um, megahertz, which is exactly what we want. In fact, slightly under, but well, you can always play with overclocking it at a later date. But yeah, we have a clock. The 6502 gets warm. Everything's working as it should so far, so yeah. Initial tests are good. I haven't hooked up the voltage the wrong way around, so it instantly pops every chip on the board. Or something stupid like that, 5 volt, which is, well, that's the great thing off about this old logic. It runs off 5 volts, and well, we have easy access to 5 volt power supplies everywhere, so rather than use a barrel jack, might as well use a USB socket. That's a far better alternative in this modern era. So yeah, I am in the process of adding a System 1 to my collection. And I'm building it with as many vintage parts as possible where um, components permit. So 6502, I've got some EEPROMs I want to use, but I don't know if my programmer, which is one of these, will program 2716 or 32 chips. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. And that just gives an overview of what's to come. I'll do a proper demonstration when this mofo is built.